Right now at 11, an urgent warning from the CHP and Caltrans as another storm barrels toward us. Avoid the Sierra. Extremely dangerous driving conditions are expected. In fact, a blizzard warning is about to go into effect. The Tahoe area bracing for the strongest storm of the season so far. You can see it churning right there in the Pacific tonight. Heavy snow there, which means heavy rain here. Let's get right to our chief meteorologist, Jeff mm -hmm. Canary. This is really like a one-two punch for two areas here. It is, and the reason why it's going to be one of the strongest storms uh, of the season for the Sierra is this is the first storm system we're going to see drop down from the Arctic uh, this strong. We've really seen most of those storm systems coming in from the south with those atmospheric rivers that have been overall warmer. So dry on Storm Ranger or Doppler radar right now. That next storm system is just off to the north. Uh, really for tomorrow morning. I don't see any big problems for the commute. We just see some spotty shower chances, but it'll begin to pick up here by 1 p.m. over Marin, Napa, Sonoma counties with some heavier rain and really through the duration of the storm system. What we're going to see is some on again, off again periods of rain, so we'll undergo some heavy downpours. We'll get a little break and then we'll see another round coming back. We'll see some spotty thunderstorm chances. Also the possibility of some hail wind up to 50 miles per hour may get into a little bit of street flooding with this, but the Sierra, that's going to be the big bullseye here, seven feet and higher. And with that low snow between one to 3000 feet, let me show you those snow totals and it's going to be treacherous here. This is just for tomorrow. 21 inches Kingvale, 15 twin bridges, 14 in Kirkwood. Let's add on Friday's numbers. We'd be up to 52 in Kingvale, 29 Tahoe, 46 in Kirkwood. And then Saturday, maybe up to 93 inches Kingvale and 92 in Kirkwood. So with 100 mile per hour winds and those blizzard warnings, we can't expect road closures and avalanche warnings. Those will be likely. More looks at our forecast coming up in about eight minutes. Jeff, thank you. So the race is ready now. The race is on to get ready. Long lines and full carts at hardware stores and grocery stores in the Sierra tonight. This is new video from Truckee. Shoppers say the wait was to check out was so long they were simply eating and snacking while waiting in line. People who live in Truckee say this is not the weekend to visit, but if you must, pack your chains, extra food, and warm blankets in case you get stuck. Here's NBC's Terry McSweeney. The biggest storm of the year is bearing down on the Sierra, much bigger than the one you see here from earlier in the season. And the California Highway Patrol does not want you to be there to see it. The CHP tweeting, quote, travel over the Sierras is highly discouraged over the next few days as travel will be extremely dangerous with blizzard conditions, whiteout conditions, 100 plus miles per hour, near zero visibility, long delays and road closures. Saturday is where, where we're going to see a lot of weather impact, particularly um, up in the Sierra Nevada foothills. That's where we're going to see a lot of snow, and there's a potential for storm-related power outages. But all the warnings in the world are not enough to stop skiers from driving up to the mountains to their favorite resorts. In fact, we are told this storm is causing a lot of excitement. There's definitely a buzz and some excitement in the store from customers and staff. I asked Zach Noor at Sports Basement to describe the lure of skiing on a huge pile of freshly fallen snow. It's like no other skiing experience for sure, you know, like un untracked terrain. Smooth, surfy, you know, it's like meditative, like your, your best meal you can think of. Which is perhaps what Sydney Madison was thinking as she loaded her skis and prepared to head to the Sierra ahead of the storm. I'm watching the conditions like on 80 and looking at CHP, looking at the updates on like Twitter and online to make sure that like, no road closures are going to happen. But for Trevor Hansen, thoughts of a perilous drive overcame his love of skiing, at least for this weekend. Just didn't want to drive in it, didn't want to uh, go up there. Even Sunday, we thought the roads might be too, too icy, so just decided against it, uh, hoping for next weekend instead. And with so much attention on the mountains, let's not forget the storm's going to bring some potentially damaging conditions right here to the Bay Area. In the Bay Area, the most impact we're going to see is really in the peninsula area. We're going to see heavy rains, high winds starting Thursday, continuing Friday, and then through the weekend. In San Francisco, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, you know the drill as this next storm approaches. Download our free NBC Bay Area app. That QR code on the left side of your screen will take you right to our radar. Point your phone's camera at that code to get to our weather page.